I posted a reel on Instagram a couple of days ago that has gone semi viral, well, certainly viral for me. Look at that, it's got like 184,000 views, which is insane. And it's basically the plan of my trip for Sweden and a bit of Finland and then coming back down through Norway, kind of a bit of the route. And I've had so many questions about it and so many people offering advice, which I'm really grateful for. And just so many questions mainly about how to make this map and stuff. So I'm gonna share with you how to make this kind of map, but I'm also gonna share with you a little bit more insights into my trip and also how I've gone about planning such a long trip because I know a lot of people have asked me about that. So I'm going to share the video in a little bit um, but let me just first talk you through the trip. So the first couple of days on the trip are actually the first European adventure for the Wandering Motorhome Club which is my little membership club and I'm taking 10 members well actually more than 10 members because it's 10 vans um so I think it's about 18 members and people who have never been to Europe before so we're going on a on a sort of an inaugural trip and a little hand holding thing and I've been giving them loads of advice loads of tips on what they need to do before we go for us we're going tomorrow but when this goes out we'll probably be day one or day two into the trip so you can follow along with that on Instagram or on Facebook if you're on either of those um but yeah so we're doing um a crossing across to uh, Dunkirk and then we're doing a night in Belgium in Ypres we're going to go to the Men in Gate ceremony then two nights in the Netherlands and then I'm taking them to an air in Germany just to show them how airs work and how they can use and find them for the rest of the trip and then lots of them are being brave and going off and doing further adventures in Europe which I'm really excited about. So that's going to be the first bit of that trip. Um, then this, uh, straight after that, I'm going across and I'm going to go across from Germany to Sweden and then driving up through Sweden, a bit of Finland and then back down through Norway. Um, so let me just cross over on. I've had to film this in two windows because Instagram apparently blocks you from filming your face whilst you're on Instagram. So we're on two different windows here. But let me just change this. Oh, there we go. There's my face again. Let me put that in there. Right, cool. So what I've done here, this is Wilder Trips, which is my favorite road trip planning software. It is just fantastic. And what I've done, so I started off putting the fixed points on my trip here. So obviously we've got a ferry crossing from Rostock, which is here in Northern Germany, crossing to cross to Trelleborg. So that's an overnight crossing. Book that in. Um, we've got a cabin and Mac is going to stay in the motorhome. So it's like from 10 p.m. to I think it's like 7.30 in the morning. So he'll be absolutely fine as long as he's had a good walk and an empty beforehand. So that's what we're going to do there, crossing over that bit, which I'm really quite excited about. Even though it's going to be mostly dark, we won't be able to see much, but that will be quite a fun bit of sea to explore. And then I had a few other fixed points, which are mostly airports, because my partner Adam's flying in and out. So I've got uh, a date that I've got a bit of Stockholm Airport to drop him off, so he's flying back. So he's with me for this first week, and then I drop him off, and I've got two and a bit weeks of solo travel, just me and Mac. Um, we're going to go all the way up through Sweden a bit of Finland up to Norca all on our own and then we've got to be back at Tromso by a certain date he's then with me for another few days and we're going to go down to Bergen I've got to drop him off at Bergen and then I'm doing the trip all the way home which as you can see from this I haven't planned so what I did on the Wilder Trips app was I planned in the set point so obviously 20th of September we crossed to Trelleborg and then um, when we get to wherever it was Stockholm, which I've just won past. Stockholm's on a certain date. Obviously, Tromso's then on a certain date. So I put them in. Then what I did was I started doing my research for places that I wanted to see. And I've been really grateful, actually, because when I did the Instagram post, loads of people commented on places to visit. And also on my Facebook page, when I put that on, I've had 70 comments, um, which was lovely. But a lot of them have been really, really helpful. Go here, visit here. This is a really cool place. This turns into a campsite overnight. Um, really fantastic tips. So thank you very much for those. I've incorporated as many as I can. And I'm still working on incorporating some more. So the way that I build it out when I've got certain deadlines, I mean, it's lovely to just meander and do it at your own pace. But when you've got people flying in and out or you've got business commitments that you have to be back for certain times, you sometimes do need to plan a trip to be at certain points at a certain time. Or if you've got an event, if you're traveling for a wedding or an event or a gig or something, then you need to make sure that you can be somewhere. So this is how I do it. So like I said, I've put in the fixed points so that was Stockholm and Tromso and Bergen for so this so far. And then I looked at how many days I had between them. And what I've done then is I have put in the points that I really, really want to go and see. So I've got a couple of waterfalls, 
apples. I've got a, a, a really pretty route that I've discovered. Um, what's 12 Samak National Park. This apparently here, you've got Karuna and the Ice Hotel. Um, I'm probably not going to go in the Ice Hotel, although I don't know if you can go in for a day. I think I read somewhere you can go in for like a drink in the bar. So if you can, I definitely want to do that. In fact, I'm going to just make see if there is a Ice, ice Hotel. Is it that one? That looks about right, doesn't it? Now, that has come up as being for a night trip. I obviously don't want it for an overnight, but I'm going to do place of interest there. And then, as you can see, um, I obviously don't want it in that order, so I'm going to do it that way around. Um, and then the last bit on my little stop there is Rovanimi. I want to go and see Father Christmas. So I'm going to come actually come back down a bit and do this bit through northern Finland. So... I don't have any fixed point until I have to be at Tromso. So what I did was I worked backwards. So I have estimated that it will take me, I mean, what is that from, from Honesvag, which is a little town right next to Nordcup. And there's a lighthouse up there somewhere that I've somebody put in a comment. And I definitely want to do that, but it is about 300 miles or about eight and a half hours from up here to Tromso. It looks amazing, doesn't it? But it's all because it's teeny tiny little winding roads. So I have said eight hours. OK, I want us to uh, maybe one or two days stop that. I might even try and get there the day before so I can have a couple of days there in case the weather's bad or something. And then I'm giving myself I don't think I've got to be in Tromso till the evening. So I'm going to give myself two days and then I can stop and chill for the day um so actually let's do that while i'm talking about that so let's move them up so i want Dwayne to be there on around the 8th of october give or take so then i'm working backwards so it's nine hours down to or up from rovanimi to up to nordcap that is probably about two days drive if you don't chill out so i'm going to see if i can allow myself three days so that is one, two, three. Let's go there. Robinimi, Finland. I wonder if Santa is actually in Santa Grotto? Arctic Circle, is that? Ooh, Santa's Lapland experience is up there. Didn't know that was there. Oh, how exciting. Let's move that to there. And the thing I love, absolutely love about Wilder Trips is you can see how far it is between point to point. Um, so that's four hours. So if you don't go there, let's go there. And then from there to Nordcap is about five hours. So that's not bad, actually. That's that's probably around that time. But I know that I have got all of that time then to get from there to there. Um, so I can delete that one. And then it is five hours from the Karuna Rise Hotel to here. So that's a couple of days. And like I say, I'm trying to do two days exploring and maybe one day sitting somewhere uh, to enjoy where I'm at, but also just to recover, to check up with emails, to run Wandering Bird, because it is a juggernaut that uh, you can't really leave very long on its own. Now, one thing I love is that you can just now insert a day before if you want to do that. So I could then add one or two days in there and then what did I say on that one? I think I said it was going to be there for the fourth. I should have taken that. So remove that day and remove that day, which means I have to get to Tromso on oh, Saturday. Yes, I had to check that. I'd got all that right. So there we go. That's an easier way rather than moving them all the different spots. You can now add and delete days, which is brilliant. Um, and this is what I've been doing. So like here to here, that's nine hours. That's not going to happen. Um, so what I can do is I can move that down a bit so that gives me two days to do that and that i mean i've probably got an extra day here that i don't really need but that's the nice thing i've given myself an extra day so if i find somewhere that i really want to explore i've got all that time and that's exactly what i'm going to do as you can see i haven't done most of the trip like down from norway yet just trump so i want to do lofoten uh, i think there's a ferry you can get from here so i need to do some more research into that and then uh, we're going to do a fairly sort of quick whip down this bit because i want to do the atlantic road and i want to do some more of the fjords um so we are a little bit limited on time on that bit but we're going to do the best we can to move and sightsee at the same time um, and then i don't know what i'm going to do from bergen i might catch the ferry back to De uh, denmark herchel's right at the top here um, i might go down to stavanger and there's another ferry that you can do or i might drive it all the way around um but that's a lot of driving that i've done so far so i'm going to see how i feel it's a real shame there's not a ferry back 
back. But hey, uh, although having said that, we've got to be back in the Netherlands because we're going to do our Z on our park run. That's our last one on our alphabet challenge. Um, I also want to do a part one in Sweden and a part one in Norway whilst I'm up there. So I can tick them off. The dogs just walked in. Tick them off the list. But we're going to definitely do Z. It's near, I think it's near Rotterdam. So that's another fixed point that we want to be there and do on that one. So that is the plan. And it's it's yeah, it's coming together quite nicely. There's lots of other comments and bits. So if you do have any other comments or places that I should definitely see or campsites or airs or anywhere, by all means, drop them below. I'm really, really grateful for all of your suggestions because it's a lot of uh, country to see. Um, so liking to see the best bits like I tried to do with you and share all my tips. If you've got any tips for me, please do share them. Um, so that's that. Right now, I am going to connect my phone and show you how to create that little map. I'm going to have to disconnect this camera, I think, but I will see how I can do it. I'll be back in a second. Right. So here we go. I have got my phone up um, and here is how you do. Oh, I've just got Starlink. I've got to show you this because I'm really excited about it. I've just got the Starlink Mini. I've not used it properly yet. I've literally just got it a couple of, of well, a couple of hours ago. Look at the size of it. It's like the size of my face. It's about an A4 sheet and it is like three kilos. It's ridiculously light. Um, so yeah, this is this afternoon's job. I'm gonna go play with this. Finish this video and then I can go and play. Right, let me show you how you use this stuff. Why does it say Tuesday the 9th on my phone? It's definitely not Tuesday the 9th. What's happened to my phone? Right, we'll worry about that later. Let me show you how to do this first and I'll worry about why my phone's gone insane. Right, so you open this app, it's Travel Boast. I think it was free, um, but yeah, there's a small bit for premium, which meant that you could download it. Um, you could download it without anything. So this game, this is what I, I created. This is my map. So let me start again. So what you'll do is you'll put in your start point of, say, let's say London. And then your end point, just for the sake of argument, let's do uh, let's do Amsterdam. Just so it's you know, go on. I know you know where Amsterdam is. There we go. Right. So that is the start and the end point of your trip. So what you do then is you put your finger on the little orange line and you drag it to the various points that you want to visit. Now, it don't, they don't have to be exact. As you can see, it's absolutely not exact. That was one of the reasons when I did it, it sort of went out into the sea, not planning on doing a huge amount of channel swimming, but you know, and then you can zoom out on your phone. It's way easier on your phone than it is on a laptop. And then you can just put some points in, possibly that. I'm going to put it to there because the likelihood is I'm going to come back where. And then when you play it, you can play, you can change the video length. So you can make it really, really quick, or you can make it really long. You can change the size of the model. You can also, uh, if you press the little ruler at the bottom there, that shows you the distance. You can press the little mark, a little bit like Africa, that shows you all the different flags and everything that you've got going through. You can, if you want to, put on a frame and stuff. I don't bother. You can change the size. So this one is obviously for YouTube or whatever. You can do it for that. Um, this one is what I use for Instagram, 916, or you can do 1-1. One, one. Um, then you can save it to camera roll. But you can also, if you want to, if you push and hold your finger on the little car, you can change it to a motorhome. You can put some effects on. So if you wanted an octopus or something. So if you now go and see, oh, hang on, go back. And if you play it, there will be an octopus somewhere. There you go with the sea whenever it's near the sea <laughs> if if you want to that's how you do it but that's how you can do it and then you can download it to share on instagram or facebook or wherever you want to do it so another question i wanted to answer was how do you build up your confidence with driving and navigating at the same time the easiest one to that is get a decent sat nav get a put up or leave a link uh, to our sat nav comparison post which um just compared some of the main models on the market pros and cons of them all but getting a proper sat nav really helps i tend to use the sat nav alongside my phone um, so that I can 
basically compare the routes and see if it's telling me the right thing. But remember, the sat nav will have my vehicle dimensions in, especially height, whereas my phone doesn't. So if I'm not sure, I tend to listen to the sat nav. And that really helps me be able to drive and navigate at the same time. If I'm not sure, I just pull over and check the map. It takes about 30 seconds. I don't tend to use paper maps. I tend to use my phone as a map um, and obviously then the sat nav. But if I'm not sure, I'll just pull into a services, pull into a lay by, pull in wherever, somewhere safe where I can just check where I'm going, make sure that I'm not going in totally the wrong direction. I've done that a few times. It helps. And I find that 30 seconds rather than having to reverse or turn around the van in a tiny little narrow lane does really help too. If you're not very confident on driving, the only way you're going to gain confidence is to do it. And I know that's frustrating. I did do a whole video about building your confidence with driving. And I'm going to do another video shortly on building confidence when you're traveling solo, because that's a question I've been getting a lot lately. So I will do a video on that, but I will also link to the video on how you build up your basic confidence for driving a large vehicle like a motorhome, because I do appreciate that it can be quite terrifying. But that is going to be my trip to Sweden and Finland and Norway. It's starting, well, it's probably started by the time you're watching this. So you can follow along. I'm going to try and do daily updates on Instagram and Facebook if Signal allows. Hopefully it will with my new Starlink. And then, yeah, so you can follow along on that. I hope that helps you with a little map. If you do make a little map using that, by all means, please tag me. I want to see where you're off to and what your trips have been like. And I will see you as soon as I can find a decent signal to start posting about all these adventures. If you're not already following along, now is an excellent time to subscribe and I'll see you on the next video. Take care. Bye.